freedom you can have. It's like somebody living in a town all their life and saying, I'm happy with this town. I'm quite happy, but they don't know that Niagara Falls is in Toronto. They don't know, they don't know uh, Half Dome Mountain in California. They've never seen the beauty of the sea. If you live in Manchester, like somebody living here all their lives and never seen outside it. It's the difference between a Christian and a non-Christian is the same difference as a caterpillar and a butterfly. Let me say that again. The difference between knowing God and not knowing God is the difference between a caterpillar and a butterfly. See, a caterpillar lives on the ground, forages all day in a small area. But when he is transformed, when he is transformed, he flies and he sees the whole world. That's the difference. So when you're a Christian, you're free. You're really free. You're free from sin. You're free from death. Now, if there is a God, he would come and let us know these things. And he did come. And the evidence, we believe for the evidence. In the, in the Bible, we have 300 prophecies about Jesus. But one man who would come through, true. That evidence alone must make us think that this Jesus is somebody very, very special. 300 prophecies about one man coming true. It's mathematically impossible that that would happen. But yet, when we look at Jesus Christ, everything he said, everything he did, was loving, was kind. He forgave his enemies. He went around healing people. He raised people from the dead. Maybe he is the answer to your problems. Maybe he is the answer to why we're here. Because if we believe the atheists, we have no purpose whatsoever just to consume and go from from addiction to addiction. Let's have a hold out. Let's have a new car. Uh, or let's try the drugs. Let's go out and get smashed tonight. And we go from desire to desire. We become slaves of our own desire. And that's why men in marriages go off with different women because they have a desire for more than one woman. And if they believe they're just an animal, well, why shouldn't they go out? and have sex with as many women as, as they can, as long as it's secret. It's not harming anybody. Yeah, but when the truth comes out, when the truth comes out and your children look at you and they say, you're a rotten rat of a cheat, dad. I don't want to speak to you again. You've just destroyed your own family. You've destroyed your own life because you are a slave to your own desires. And that's why Jesus said, we have a human spirit but the human spirit is bent. We're bent towards self, like a bent arrow. That's where the term comes from. Sin is an archery term.